Okay, welcome back to the vlog. I'm in Osaka for the rest of the day. Today I'm gonna hit up a temple, a castle, and a waterfall. It is a beautiful morning. I have slept perfectly. There is not a cloud in the sky. You know, I think I figured out what it is that I like so much about the way that the alleys and the streets and stuff are lined up. None of it is uniform, but it's all very non-chaotic. Do you know what I mean? Everything is different on every single street, but it doesn't feel like complete chaos when you look at it. It's like, oh yeah, that all makes sense why it's set up like that. Yeah, somebody was real thirsty. Somebody didn't want to take out the trash, so they just threw it out. This says Tenjin Zaka, which is heaven, temple, or God, slope. And I think there's a number of temples here on this street. All right, so that was Yasui Shrine. Let's head up and see what else they got. Dude, just the fact that they got little temples like this mixed in with regular houses, man, that would be so much fun to have in your neighborhood, you know? I come from a country that's like 250 years old. There's not a lot of time for things to really feel like they've been there for a long time. You come to a place like this and you're like, man, it's like a lot of culture that's been brewing for many, many years. And to kind of illustrate my point, this temple was built in like 593. Most of this has been rebuilt since then. But 593 is like 1500 years old. So even if it was reconstructed, I mean, there's nothing in the US that is even that old. Well, I guess I probably didn't mention either. This is Shitennoji Temple. Apparently, it was a prince named Prince Shotoku. And he built it in honor of Buddhism. He was one of the early proponents of it. You can fact check me on this. This is all just looking it up online. Okay, next up, Osaka Castle. We have to take a train to get there. I know nothing about it, so let's look up online <laughs> some relevant facts about that before we get there. I think the thing that really appeals to me about cities in Japan are that they're so varied. You can turn any corner and see a structure or a design or a layout that you've never seen before. Wow, like this building right here, what is this? I don't know, it's probably an apartment building or something, but it's super unique. Alright, I'm gonna imagine that this place is much more happening at night because everything is closed, but man, look how cool this is. It's the character, man. remember but I think I've been to this castle before when I studied abroad here in 2005 and 2006 
My mother came to visit me for a week. And we kind of went all over, but I'm pretty sure we went to Osaka Castle. And that, there's no other way to describe it than a castle right there. <laughs> Okay, that's very cool. I think it's time to get out of here though. This is very touristy. A lot of people. I'm also starving right now. Next stop is Mino Park. That's about an hour and a half away by a couple of different trains. So let's go eat first and then let's head over there. Dude, it's so weird. Castles were built specifically for war and to protect yourself from enemies, but they look so cool. It's like, how come so many cool things were just built to either attack people <laughs> or to prevent yourself from being attacked? What a waste. Okay, I'm doing Moss Burger for lunch. I came here for two weeks in high school, but one of the host fathers was driving us in a car, and we were asking him if he had had Moss Burger before, and just what ensued was the most hilarious inability to communicate where he thought we were saying Moth Burger and making a joke. So I haven't had Moss Burger since then, actually, so let's go try it out. This extremely green stuff is melon soda. It's just kind of a sweet soda, but what's surprising is that it's carbonated. You don't see stuff this green that's carbonated too. And of course, I gotta have some random dessert from the convenience store that I would never eat at home. I'm telling you though, nobody does light, airy, nothing pastries from the convenience store. Quite like Japan, man. Okay, now I'm really going to the train. Lunch has been eaten. I kind of need to take a dump, but we'll see if I can find a bathroom or not. You probably didn't need to know that. I probably did not want to know that. Now you do, and now that you've heard it, you can't unhear it. Okay, it's a 20 minute walk up to the waterfall, but it looks like there'll be some interesting stuff to see along the way. Okay, let's go, let's go.
wow, this is nice. There's a main road down there, and I decided to take this little steep mountain road. And I think I made the right choice. <laughs> Okay, there's a little fork in the road here. Pretty sure this leads to the waterfalls. I was just talking to them. And this, they said according to Google Translate, this is some sort of cherry blossom square. I can read the square part. I don't know what this actually is. But in the spirit of adventure, this is Adventure Archives after all. <laughs> Let's go check this out. Oh, and here it is. Sakura Hiroba. Oh, you know what this is? This is almost assuredly a place where people come and do picnics during the cherry blossom season. We'll lay down a little blanket, sit there, drink beers, have fun. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's take a look at that overlook and then let's see what happens if we keep going this way. Whoa! Now that is a view. <laughs> Definitely took the right path. <laughs> So up ahead may just be a dead end, but there is another path up here. So let's go up to this and see what happens. Now people have warned me about these killer bees that kill people. Hopefully, since it's November, there's no chance of that happening, but... Oh, look, there's a big picture of a bee up there. We're right here. Maybe there's just a bunch of trails back here. Looks like I can just keep going this way connect back to the main road, get to the waterfalls up there, and then check out this little temple right here. So this says elephant feet, momi no ki, so some sort of momi tree. And I think there's two of them here, this is one of them. And I don't know where the other's at. Maybe that one? Yeah, these are just cement. <laughs> just look like wood, but they're definitely rock solid. Okay, I feel like I'm definitely hearing some waterfalls up here. I must be getting close. There's the main path. Just runs parallel. It's my path here. Noguchi Hideo statue. I don't know what that is precisely but let's go take a look before we go to the waterfall. Wow, dude, this is a ways in. We're less than a kilometer, but it still feels like it's taking forever. The views are nice though. That was cool, but I must admit that was strangely anticlimactic. It's cool, glad I went. It's time to head back. Okay, next step is to head to Himeji. I need to get a Shinkansen ticket for that. In the meantime, though, I'm taking a break, and I got one of these, which, is that not the most beautiful pastry you've ever seen in your life?
Okay, my train leaves at 5.02. I've got about 18 minutes left. Rail pass is great, man. You can leave anytime you want. You just go get a seat. You're good to go. You feel like a nomad, which is what I want. I'm very tired, so I'm excited to actually get there. I'm staying in another hostel tonight. Take a shower, have a beer, go to sleep. It's gonna be great. just up ahead on the right. Another hostel. It's also a bar. So I'll be enjoying a beer and a shower. Very nice little hostel there. I need to get some food. I don't know where to go, but I'm assuming there's something around here. Although everything here is closed. That was indeed pretty tasty. That's the first time I've had skamen. You take the noodles and you put it into the soup. It's good. This is the street that the hostel's on and apparently it's just goes for miles just like a bunch of shops, which are all closed right now. This is really weird being in here late at night. There's nobody here. It's like a ghost story waiting to happen. I'm gonna get to bed. I'm dead tired. Tomorrow, we will visit various places. See you then. Man, what a difference a night of sleep makes. Last night I was exhausted. I guess 12 miles of walking will do that to you. This apparently is part of the old gates of Himeji Castle, which is what I came here to see. Kind of fighting off a sickness that I've had since before I left. So it's probably good that I slept 12 hours, but it also means that it's almost noon already. <laughs> so let's head out. Wow, yesterday's castle was pretty impressive, but this one is somehow more impressive. That is beastly. All right, let's go that way. Yesterday was Wednesday, today is Thursday. Both weekdays, yet this place is like empty. Maybe I haven't gotten close enough to the castle yet. And why is there a giraffe right there?
This is maybe one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. And nobody's here. Maybe I'm not at the entrance yet. Okay, before we go over there though, let's go check out the City Museum of Art. Good God, look at that, man. Okay, <laughs> let's, let's look at the museum real quick and then we'll head over. Look at that castle, man. Good God, let's go to that. So apparently, as an American, we are often accused of using the word awesome too much. This is awesome. Okay, I swung around to the front entrance. There's definitely a lot more people than there were at the back. It's still not that crowded, considering how amazing this castle is. when you get up close it doesn't look nearly as big it's still very impressive though and it's cool it's like winding your way through the castle courtyard to say how much of this has been restored and how much of it was the old stuff but either way it's impressive and gives you a sense of people actually lived here I guess this was the armory it smells kind of musty Let's say it's very impressive on the outside. Once you get inside, you're like, it's actually kind of small. So I guess it's more as a show than it is kind of actual practicality to have a building like this. I guess that's like kind of a story as old as time though, people building really big structures to look imposing. This was actually restored twice. They dismantled things, repaired it, and then put it back together. Which just, the sheer undertaking of that, like, man, it makes me, I don't have the stomach for that. <laughs> Okay, the weather says it's not supposed to rain, but that looks a lot like rain to me. I need to head to the place that I'm staying tonight, which is up in Takeda, which is like an hour train ride north. I'm staying there so that tomorrow morning I can get up first thing at like 5 a.m. And you'll see why in that video, but now I kind of... Well, let's get to the station first.
Yo, it is dead freaking quiet. And there's nobody around. Like, if I didn't know that there were people here, I'd be like, yo, am I in a ghost town? Good to know. You know what this reminds me of, right? Street Fighter 4, baby. Fighting under the bridge. <laughs> also, for the first time ever, the guy at dinner was like, are you from France? <laughs> I was like, no, do I look like it? And he was like, yeah, you gotta have that look. <laughs>